Okay, so the plan for today is to uh, drain and fill the front and rear differential and the center transfer case. First thing I'm going to do is go drive to the uh, auto zone and get brake fluid. That's just because I'm trying to warm up the engine and uh, differential. You want to have that warmed up before you do this. All right. Okay, I got the car jacked up. Let's do the level on it. And that's pretty close. You look pretty damn close. So, it's crazy how much rust builds in such a short period of time. Um, but anyway, right here is your drain. That's your fill. Uh, you always want to take your drain off first. I know a lot of people say to take your uh, fill plug out first, but there's no fun in that. So you want to take the drain out first and then try to deal with taking the, the fill out. Fun little game I like to play. So I used a ton of never sees to get this up, to put these on the last time, so it should just pop right off. Spray a little penetrating oil. Yeah, look at that. Didn't even need a socket, see? So, just goes to show you, you do it the right way, don't really need tools. Pops right out. Perfect. How much never sees I use on that? Crazy. My fill plug gets hammered with salt and everything down here. So I spray some penetrating oil. This one's probably, I'm probably going to need a tool to take this one off. Uh, nope. Nope, that one pops right out too. Look at that. Nice. All right, you want to make sure you have a pan underneath here when you drain it. There you go. It's actually not that bad. It's still clear. Usually this is like black. See how it's not bad? It's pretty nice actually. That's because I just changed it 2,000 miles ago. Um, I like to do it every 3,000 miles, but got a little ahead of myself on this one. Um, cost me a lot of money to maintain this car, but it's well worth the, uh, the effort. Just to give you an idea of what you should expect on the magnet, just some black gunky stuff. It's really no actual shavings or filings or anything in here. It's just some black mud basically this is just some iron that wears off but if you see like chunky flakes or anything significant then something's wrong all right i had this i got this for uh another person's uh brake job and stuff i did so it's actually really high temperature anti-seize pretty unnecessary for this application but it's copper coated quality stuff. All I want to do pretty much dab a little bit on. It should last me the rest of my life. Get coated right onto there. Now make sure it's clean. Go ahead and reinstall that. And that's it. Now it's time to fill it. Okay, so bought this thing off of Amazon. Hopefully it works. I'm trying to come up with any other way to do this besides that stupid pump. That stupid little piece of shit $10 pump that gets oil everywhere. I'm gonna give this a try. See how we do. Oh, she sucks all right. <clears throat> okay. So I just pulled the uh, drain bolt out of the uh, 
transfer case here. It's draining out right now. Looks actually like it's in pretty good shape. Um, gonna pull, finish the rear differential. Um, wasn't as bad as I thought. This, uh, if I had to do it again, I definitely wouldn't wouldn't pick up this stupid um, syringe garbage unless you have a uh, a lift and a clean floor and everything because this hose gets dirty and you have to stick it down into the bottle tube all the way down um, it's just a mess and uh, it does it does uh, do a decent job but it's just I'd rather just pump it it's a lot a lot messier and a lot dirtier this way but uh a lot more cumbersome but anyway it's the way I'm stuck with so I'm gonna finish it up uh, I'm gonna fill this up next and and yeah putting anti-seize on the uh, on the bolts and then putting them back on uh, looks like there's there was a little bit of uh, black stuff on this magnet not really bad see a couple of shavings there a couple of little uh, filings or whatever. Anyway, um, we'll go ahead and put that put that back on. Put the drain back on. Pop the fill port off. Fills right here. Drains right there. So next, I'm gonna take this off. Should be looking at it from back. That's your fill, that's your drain. Okay, put some anti-seize and put the drain port back on. You know, it's kind of like uh, when you have a baby, your first kid, you you study up on, on, the, on babies, you learn everything you could possibly learn. Every time it's sick, you take it to the doctor. Like every little cough, you take it to the doctor. Then your second kid, it's like, eh, it'll be all right. Uh, Stop breathing, uh, just tap it on the head a little bit. Should uh, should wake right up. <laughs> so, this is kind of like that, you know, like, usually I would have, initially I would have torqued these all up to spec, and it would, it's all, you know, done properly. Now it's just like, eh, just do it tight enough. This is aluminum, you don't want to damage it, so you just snug it up real tight, and uh, you're good to go. Okay, I'll have the uh, amounts of fluid each, each of these take. But the center transfer case doesn't really take that much fluid. Um, I think two and a half or not even. Not a lot. Uh, I'll let you know how much it is. But see it's full there. Got some dribbling out. So now I'm gonna put that back on. Uh, one other thing to note, this little uh, lip here catches a lot of the oil. So you have like a little reservoir of oil here. You just gotta clean that out because when you drive and accelerate, all the oil will pour out of there and onto the road. So make sure you clean that out. Okay. So I'm underneath the car, looking straight up. Follow the uh, drive shaft. Comes out of there, comes up into this thing. This is your front differential. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. Here's your fill. Here's your drain. Now for this, as you can see, it's a different type of uh, socket. So the the back was a 24 millimeter socket, 24 millimeter socket for both drain and fill, 24 millimeter for both drain and fill, and this is 10 millimeter uh, hex, uh, which luckily I have. Now this is for the 98. Uh, I know the newer cars, they all have uh, this type hex. Okay. So, like I've been saying, you want to start with the uh, um, drain first. pretty good
pan ready. And actually, you don't really want to be underneath this thing when it goes. Shit. Shit. Alright, that shoots out pretty far, so. So that shot out all the way out to here. Um, so don't just think you can put something underneath it and be good. Again, take a look at the uh, how bad that is really not that bad. Okay, I'm done with that. I put that back on for the front differential. Just changing the oil now. One little trick I learned. Uh, you you want to clean off. Make sure when you get the new oil filter, you put it on nice and dry. You want to have no oil on this O-ring. You want to jam it on there nice and dry so it dry rots right off. This way it gets a little easier to take off. Perfect. Just chilling, eating my garbage, huh?